Okay, so part two of the top 10 is, it's gonna be five atars. Now these are all available on eBay. So there's nothing weird in there that you're gonna to have to get from the Middle East and pay hundreds of dollars for. So we'll start with Beinalud Matale. So this one is, it's a very sweet oud. So you don't get any barnyard or anything like that in there. It's very sweet, almost like a, a chocolatey sort of smell. But you've still got that bite of the oud underneath. This one, I would recommend it for, it's, it's suitable for beginners to oud. It's not going to put you off. It's a little bit, you know, if you're not used to oud, it might be a little bit weird, but this one is definitely one for beginners. It's quite long lasting. Another important factor as well, is it, this is something what I've learned. You have to be careful of the colorings, especially if you're a white guy like myself, because you can put this on and think, oh yeah, that'll just dry in, and the colorings in it will leave you looking like a tiger. So this, it blends in perfectly, it just absorbs, disperses quite nicely as well. It's quite thick, as you can see. The longevity on here, you'll get a day out of it, and you only need to use a little tiny bit. Now with the dab sticks, instead of swiping it on yourself, I don't like to do that. What I like to do is use the actual end of it, like the little point, and just put like little dots on myself. Then you can kind of work out how much you're using and it's not, you know, smearing yourself and loads of it. So number five, Dano Oud Matale. At number four, We've got Mokalat Shams. Now this one is, it's Ajwal. Um, it's the same, I believe there's a spray going around of it. The spray is exactly the same as the oil. It smells the same. I just prefer the oil version, it's cheaper as well. So this one is very dry. It's, it's again, not barnyard kind of food, but it's heading that way. It's like an old kind of, uh, an old wood. It's very, very strong. This one, you only need a little tiny bit. You get all day, probably all night, and into the next day as well. The colouring in that, again, it's not a problem. All of the ones I'm going to show you, the colouring is not a problem. Um, this one, I wouldn't recommend it for complete beginners to oud it's probably a little bit too much if you've got a few oud scents already that are a little bit daring then this would probably be perfect just as a little bit of a step up but if you're just jumping straight into it I wouldn't recommend this one next up we've got Mokalat Shams, uh, Mokalat Emirates, sorry, it's the same colour as Shams. Now this one is one of my favourites. I use it quite regular. It's um, a nice warm oud with a bit of amber and you get the rose on the top as well. And it's, it's very well blended. Nothing is too much. You know, it's, everything is in proportion. So you get equal amounts of the rose, amber and the oud. This one is quite long lasting. You get a day out of it. Um, again, the colouring is not a problem. It's uh, quite cheap as well at the minute. This is an Al Haramain. You can get this currently. The prices are dead cheap on this one at the minute. So if you go on eBay, you can find this regular under five pounds I think probably even less than that so this one is suitable for everyone men women beginners I don't think anyone would be offended by this um, 
This one, I've actually put a rollerball on this one. I did that myself just because I use it quite regular. But it's, I'd use this one in all seasons as well. Winter, summer, spring, autumn. It'd work anywhere. You don't need a lot of it because it is quite pungent. But it's definitely one to try while it's cheap as well. Um, the next one is Dana Lude Safwa. Now this one, this is quite strong. It has got quite a bit of barnyard in it as well. So again, this one, I probably wouldn't recommend this one for beginners. Um, it lasts six hours maybe. It's not that long lasting. But what you get in that time is immense. It's just pure, little bit sweet oud. So it's not quite, it's not as sweet as the Matale. So if you like something a little bit more savory, then I'd probably say this one over the Matale would be suitable for you. Um, this is a little bit more advanced on the Matali as well. So you're going to have to you know, probably get used to it if you want to use this one. Again, it's a dark colour, but don't worry about that. It doesn't mark your skin or anything like that. Um, you don't need a lot of this one again. You don't need a lot of any of these atars. You just literally just dab four little spots on yourself. Just rub it in. That's how I do it. Works out great. And then the last one is a. Uh, this is actually an Anfar. If you see my last video, you 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 know about Anfar. This is actually good. <laughs> so this is White Oud by Anfar. It's not a clone of Montal White Oud. Um, it's nothing like that at all. It's a very light, floral, woodsy scent. Well, when I say light, I mean light in terms of the floralness. But this is absolute beast mode. I've used this before. I had a doctor's appointment. And I went to the doctor's. I put this on probably 45 minutes before I went. I'm sitting there in the waiting room. And the door was about 15 feet away from me where you come into the doctor's. And you, people were walking in and could smell it. Literally, I had to do my coat up around my neck because I was getting conscious because it was <laughs> that strong. But you know, that I'll maybe I'll put too much on, I don't know. But this one, perfect for beginners. If you've never had an Arabian Atar before, perfect. This one, recommend it a thousand percent. You won't go wrong with it. It, it's still got the Middle Eastern vibe, but if you're only used to Western stuff, you would still like it. But remember, it is very, very strong. Like these perfume parlor ones, where you stick it all on and wipe it all over. You don't do that with these. Jesus Christ. You'll kill yourself and anyone within a 20 foot radius if you do that. But that one. It's quite cheap still, I believe you can pick up 6 mil around 10 quid. I mean, for what you're getting, that's a bargain. The longevity on it is crazy. 24 hours, easily. Um, so, that's my top 5 picks for Atars. And what I've done is I've picked stuff out that is very easy for people to get. So, like I say, you haven't got to go searching around, paying hundreds of dollars, hundreds of pounds. You can get these quite easily. Because that's what I want to do. I don't want to come on showing, showing you stuff that you can't get. And what's the point in that? You, I want you to go and try it. If you can't try it, what's the point? Some channels, that they'll come on and they'll show you, oh, here's a, a bottle of Roger Dove. Costs 900 pounds. Yeah, great, I'll nip out and get two then, shall I? You know, you, 
they're just things like that. This stuff, I want you to go and try it. I want you to enjoy it. And these, I believe, depending on where you are in your Middle Eastern journey, there's something there for everyone. But these are my five picks for Atars at the minute. But I, you know, I might do another one and actually just go through my whole collection because I've got like a big box full. I've got everything in there. So if people would like to see more Atars, then I'll show you some more. None of them are clones, so it's going to be a bit of a, you know, hard way for you to buy it without really knowing, because I can't say, oh, this one was like such and such. The only one that you would possibly be able to get in a spray is Mukulat Shams. But, you know, I think you pay, I think Mukulat Shams is about 50 quid, I think, something like that. But anyway, that's the five there. If you can, if you're willing, go and try them. You can find all these on eBay. If you just type it in, if you need any help with the spelling, in fact, I might even put some eBay links in there for you so you can find all these ones. That'll probably be only be UK only. So if you're outside the UK, you'd probably have to take that search and kind of transfer it to your own country and see whether they ship to you. I'm sure they would because it's a it's an oil. You can ship them worldwide. Uh, right, so thanks for watching anyway. I hope I haven't rambled on too much, but I need to get you know these atars out. I have too many to do. So stay tuned for the next video because you might find something a little bit interesting with that one because it's my birthday coming up so I might have something special to show you see you in the next video